You want to make something wonderful and homemade for your family this Christmas, but gingerbread men and sugar cookies are way too messy and lengthy. But your bar is not so low that you buy whatever sugary mass-produced crap you get at Walmart and pass it off as a gift. But CRJ, it's the thought that counts. Translation. I was too busy watching the same lame teen love quadrangle cluster F on Netflix to care. Thankfully, I have the solution for you, Christmas Bark. It's fast, easy, it's not as messy and labor intensive as Gingerbread Men. Let's begin. Okay, to begin, grab yourself a sheet of parchment paper and put it on a baking sheet of some kind. And let's pour six ounces of melted milk chocolate. Six ounces of melted white chocolate. Oh, no, this is important. Make sure you separate the chocolates. Don't dump them all on top of each other. And finally, six ounces of dark chocolate. Next, grab one of these cake spatula leveler things and mix our chocolates together. Okay, level it out. All right, it's nice and swirly. Now for our toppings. Uh, before we continue, one quick thing. Do you want to fight against Rachel Ray's constant whitewashing of good cuisine? No! Oh my god! No! 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 Still no! Well, you can help me and everyone else out. Subscribe to the channel today, hit the bell notification icon, and smash that like button. And together, we can reverse the damage caused by Rachel Ray and her live, laugh, love tyranny. Now, there really is no agreed upon set of toppings for Christmas Bark. You can put whatever you want on it. Hell, even kill boss a sausage if that's your jam. But if it's gonna be a Christmas bark, one ingredient is required. Crushed candy canes. Let's give everything a nice, generous sprinkling of crushed candy canes. Okay, next ingredient, mini crunchy pretzels. Oh, and, uh, don't just simply place them onto our chocolate. Place them on and then dab them into the chocolate. That way when it cools, it doesn't plop off. Some marshmallows. And finally, top it off, sprinkles. I'm gonna use a different combination of them. Okay, once it begins to resemble a sugary Aleppo aftermath, I think we're done. Let's give everything a few more taps to make sure everything's secure. Place it in the fridge so it can harden for a few hours. Yeah, I know it's not Christmas related. I just wanted to get it in before like, the meme died. Okay, after an hour in the fridge, it's nice and solid. It can be breaking up and it's ready for your Christmas party. Is what I would say if I was actually going to one. But no, my family would rather go to Vegas instead of being together on one of the most important holidays of the year. I swear COVID could have never happened and we'd still be social distancing a lot. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, by the way, the tree is not to be confused with this Christmas bark. Burp, 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 burp.